This video demonstrates how I drew out a white orchid flower and it's a freely available image that you can download from Pixabay so I'll post the links for that below. So I start this one a little differently to the last drawing video that I did. When I did the tulip one I started and I marked the center but for this one I can see the shape of that orchid very very clearly a kind of big oval rugby ball shape that fills the square. So that's the first thing I decided to draw out is this very faintly kind of drawn uh, big kind of rugby you know lumpy rugby ball kind of shape and I'm using a 2B pencil uh, just a, a basic Derwent Graffer pencil here. And I'm trying to draw the basic big shapes of the big petals first of all. Again, keeping it light because I'm going to do this in watercolor. So I want my pencil lines to be nice and light. I don't have to do a ton of rubbing out because I press down too heavily. So I'm just trying to sketch out the big white petals of an orchid, which I haven't drawn before. So this was a bit of a challenge for me, doing something a bit different, something that was outside my comfort zone. But I know that I need to start plotting the center of this flower pretty quickly. So what you see me do here is I do a couple of sort of like upwards vertical lines from the edges of those two petals down on the left hand side. You can see me tracing those lines upwards now. And that is going to hold that kind of big bulbous shape in the center. So that's what you can see me drawing just about now. Just trying to, you know, get the center of the flower so then I can start bringing everything out from the center. So you can see I get that kind of big fat knobbly bit in the middle and now I'm going to try and draw the way that those two big fat petals curve upwards and kind of overlap each other at the tips. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just sort of like taking that line up and then bringing it back down on the other side to get that kind of small kind of shape that, you know, it kind of tapers to a point at the top. And then next you see me put a kind of a, a middle line, an axis if you will, um, slightly diagonal line cutting through that, that chops it into two halves. I've now got the left half and the right half that I can work on kind of uh, a bit more separately instead of worrying about the entire flower as a whole. Next you see me sort of tracing that line around, taking that line from that bottom petal on the right hand side to its sort of logical kind of conclusion. I swing it all the way around and that's going to help me plot that edge of this, this, these kind of weird arm type shapes in the middle of this orchid. You know, that line has just told me where the base of that kind of arm is going to be. I can see where it starts. It starts at the top next to that knobbly shape that I've drawn. But I needed to sort of like figure out where it came down to, how far it would come down. And that line that I took from the bottom petal straight across helps me figure that out. On the other side, I'm just now using, you can see me putting in a stroke line there just to give me the idea of where the base of that arm on the right hand side is going to be as I sort of pull that down and curve that down. But I'm also making that react to the arm that I've already drawn on the other side. So I'm sort of comparing the two and using the two to, to help me get that the right kind of um, proportion and shape. I get a little fussy here, just adding a bit of definition to this, um, the bulbous shape in the center. Um, you know, I could have left that to last, but just add a little bit of definition to it before I work down using that axis line that I drew earlier to make sure I can get this, this weird sort of triangular kind of lizard weird shape. <laughs> Almost looks a bit like a, a kind of a cat, a very cartoony cat head shape. Uh, but I needed to draw that in because that was the next shape that sort of moved downwards through the center along that axis line that I draw. Here you can see me drawing a couple more pencil lines on the photo and then also drawing those on the drawing so I can figure out that the arm I did already does not come down and is not sort of long enough. So I need to sort of tweak it and pull it down on one side. Um, before I can go any further. So I'm just sort of tweaking and, and, and changing things as I go along and I'm sort of treating the drawing uh, like it's a piece of clay that I'm kind of constantly molding with you know small little corrections of the pencil, small little proportion and guidelines. All of those kind of help me just tweak and push and pull and you know just arrange those lines and, and kind of um, add definition to those lines as you would with a piece of clay when you're molding it and you gradually see the shape develop from that kind of piece of clay. I know it's weird to talk about a 3D thing when you're doing a 2D thing, but that's the best way I can describe the way that I try and, you know, pull the shape out of the drawing. So I've got the basic shape of this, this weird alien kind of thing in the middle of the orchid just about finished now with a combination of kind of guidelines, 
diagonal lines just to make sure that things line up with each other and they're not jutting out too much. So now I'm just adding a little bit of um, definition now to the petals and you know noticing that there's some things about the petal shapes that need perhaps to be changed. So I've got to get that lovely kind of flowing curve of the petals as they come around because of these, these big, big wing umbrella type petals on an orchid uh, as they sort of come out and then swerve and swoop and curve around and upwards. So to get the way that this uh, top petal kind of curves over like a hood and has a kind of a pointed part of it, I just run a guideline up from the edge of that arm on the right hand side and that little guideline lets me know that that's the point where the hood sort of comes in at a gentle kind of really gentle kind of v-shape and then curves outwards towards the other side so that gets me that kind of hooded petal the way it's coming up and curving over and i'm going to have to really try hard to make that look 3d when i start painting it i realize that the petal is not as fat and as round so that's what i'm doing now i'm just changing and i'm just gradually drawing a bunch of extra lines outwards 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 until i get the kind of width of that petal it's a much fatter wider petal than the ones on the left hand side that should be thinner so at this stage i'm feeling a lot more confident with the shapes that i've already drawn so what you'll see me do here is try and add a little bit of definition yes i'm drawing in a few lines to show where there's perhaps uh, are going to be a difference when I start painting between a light area and a dark area but you can see me just going over some of the lines a little bit more heavily a little bit more confidently because I'm thinking yeah that's in the right spot I like where that's at um, so I'm just adding more definition to it now adding some little bits of 3D like this a little curved over bit of petal I'm just drawing there as well which hopefully again when I paint I'll be able to do light and dark and get a bit of extra three dimensions going on. Here you can see me just putting in a small diagonal kind of guideline just straight down and across there that helps me plot where the bottom of that kind of left hand big petal is going to be. So once I've got the base of it sort of plotted in, then I can draw the sides a little bit more accurately the way it's going to come around, curve up. So I'm, it's helping me find the sort of top and bottom of that, that petal, but also it's going to help me here a little bit um, just curve outwards and find the width of that petal. He see me use a rubber for the first time. So I've done all of that drawing so far without feeling the need to pick up a rubber. And there you see me just get out the putty rubber, which you can squish into quite a fine edge and, and do some very, very fine rubbing out with. And that's you, you see me using that for the first time. Uh, and I always feel that if you're spending a lot of time rubbing out, you're losing time that you should be drawing. So I really try not to use the rubber as much as possible uh, and just do the drawing and rub out at the end, which is why you can still see all my construction lines, all my little guidelines uh, and all of my kind of like extra lines as I made that petal on the right bigger and bigger and bigger. So I'm definitely at the tweaking stage right now. And uh, no, it's not a crazy dance. It's just me trying to add definition and work out the shapes of things a little bit more accurately. So you can see what I've decided here is that the, the petal on the left hand side is too wide. So I'm shaving off a bit of it. So I'm just going inside the line, just going up and around and back down. And I'm just taking a little bit off that shape. I haven't rubbed out anything yet, but I've got an idea that that petal on the left hand side was too wide so I've made it a bit narrower and I've made this small one on the bottom right hand side a bit wider and now also you can see me drawing some very faint lines to show the kind of extra shadow I'm going to put on to show that one petal is behind the other there you go I'm now rubbing out those lines so you can see that that petal on the left is thinner and the one on the right is thicker and you can see me adding some more of those lines to show that there is a leaf behind these two big fat leaves in front and therefore there will be darker shadow because that leaf is behind them. And that's what those little faint lines that I've just popped in there are supposed to show. Here I'm doing a little bit more tweaking around the strange alien arm type shape in the center uh, and I'm just I'm not 100% happy with it yet so I'm just doing some little minute sort of tweaks to and some rubbing out just to try and fix that. And I'm mostly happy with the way the flower's gone so far. So I start sketching in the background around it and I've speeded this up a little bit so that I, you can just see it pretty quickly because I'm just putting in bold strokes, nothing too detailed. I want the flower to be the detailed thing. So I'm just putting in some rough little lines for the background. You know, I sort of ummed and ahed of doing it all green, but I thought, no, I will actually draw those petals that you can see in the background behind the main orchid. Um, and you know obviously when I'm painting them as well that would give me a kind of a diagonal link from the top left down to the bottom right where it's kind of white petals leading into the main flower and then down through the center to those white petals you can see me drawing now in that bottom right corner. 
So hopefully it'll have a flow from that top left corner down into this bottom right corner, straight down through the middle and a sort of nice diagonal kind of look. So whilst doing the background bits, I suddenly noticed there was something that I wanted to change on the main flower in the center. So I go back in to change that. And it's that this kind of like white overly shape above the kind of alien weirdness shape is too wide, it's too big. So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm shaving a little bit off it. Uh, and this will make the petal on the left hand, sorry, the right hand side, bigger, fatter, wider, which is always my intention. And also shave a teeny bit off the bit on the left hand side as well. So I'll make that slightly wider. I don't really want to make it wider, but I realize that this kind of strange shape, uh, nut shape in the middle needed to be thinner and not as big and fat and wide as it was. So that's it, pretty much drawn, finished, ready to paint. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought, if you felt that it was a useful or helpful video to you and it would help you draw the orchid. And also if you haven't seen some of my previous drawing videos, then there are some links for those below. Thanks for watching.